Hey everybody, welcome back. This is Alessandro. First of all, guys, I hope you really enjoyed the last series that I did of animation, like about the you know, volleyball service that was kind of uh, fun to do, even for me, little by step. I went this time more in details, as you asked me many times. But today, this video is about doing baby and little step into the animation, okay, guys? And in the second part of the video, I want to show you uh, um, an animation done by one of my students. Okay, it's very simple animation. The character is basically just walking and turning around. Super simple, but the level of polish that he achieved is really, really good. So I thought about it with his permission to share it with you guys. Uh, and the whole reason why I'm doing that, and I want to talk to you about going slow when you learn animation, is because it starts to happen more and more often that people ask me for feedback. Uh, you know, they want me to take a look at their demo reel or give them lesson or stuff like that. And they always want to do uh, more advanced body mechanics, acting, combat, you know, things are very complicated. And when I look at their reel, it's kind of obvious to me that they struggle even with the most basic things, okay? They are not able to do a simple walk cycle or a simple body mechanics exercise, okay? Uh, they are not able to achieve a single good pose that looks really solid, okay? And for me, when I saw those things, I have to tell them, guys, you know, I won't be able to help you because apparently you still don't understand the basic of animation, the basic of body mechanics. So there is nothing I can do and teach you, even though I'm a good animator, to, to help you to improve your acting or your combat scene, because simply you, you lack the fundamental of animation, okay? And obviously a lot of people don't, um, uh, don't like this kind of feedback because I understand that everybody's exciting and they want to do amazing combat, you know, uh, parkour shot or acting, you know, everybody wants to jump to the juicy things, right? Because they're more fun. But the reality, you, you can go there too fast. And the impression that I have from a lot of students is that they, they go through the body mechanics or the basic of animation very, very quickly because they find it very boring in those exercises. And, um, you know, and the problem is that they, they don't understand the fundamental very well. And then when they go in more advanced mechanics or in act, even acting, which is even more difficult, guys, they, they struggle. And they're like, oh, please give me lesson, you know, so uh, with your lesson, I'm going to improve. No, no, my lesson, anybody else, lesson actually is, uh, is not going to help you. If you went through the body mechanics way too quickly, or maybe you went to a school and the school didn't teach you very well, or the program was way too fast for your pace, whatever is the, the problem. But... Again, if you don't have very strong fundamental guys, you you are gonna struggle, and this is the things that I, I I always try to teach, and I know it's not for everybody, but I can tell you guys I can see the benefits, and now in a, in a few minutes when I'm gonna show this video, guys, you're gonna see by yourself. Um, the reason because is uh, you you have to go very slow, and, and my approach I wanna share with you now my approach when I when I start to give a lesson, even if the students show to me. You know, they have a demo reel with some acting or something. Uh, I show them the problem or the struggle. And most of the time, 90% of the time, uh, when we start off a lesson with me, we go back with the, with the posing, okay? I need, I need that the student needs to be able to show me that he can do a few single poses that looks good, that looks dynamic, they have a nice line of action, silhouette, appealing, all those things. Because I always tell them, if you're not able to do one single frame that looks really good, you're not going to be able to do the rest of it. What makes you think you can do an interesting walk cycle, a jump or an animation, right? You have to start with the very basic. And uh, and once, you know, they, they, they prove to me that they're able to do it, at the same time, I always start with a very simple uh, animation shot, okay, where you only animate the lower body, okay? Uh, I'll try to skip the basic walk cycle because I've already have a walk cycle tutorial in my, in my channel. But what I ask them to do using only the lower body Start, for example, a simple exercise where your, uh, you know, your, your body move forward, there's a few steps, maybe change the, the shift, the weight shift from left to right, you turn the body and maybe walk backwards, you know, a little jump, maybe something has to be super simple, but at the same time, I will push the student to, to make it very, very polished. And that's, that's what I want to achieve, you know, that's what I'm expecting from the student if they came to me. I, I want them to make sure that they can start with the most simple exercise, but give me a great level of polish. Because if you cannot do a really good polish on a simple job, in a simple exercise, what makes you think you're gonna do a good job when you do uh, a more advanced run and climb, run and jump, you know, a more advanced parkour shot, or even a fighting, which is a, a lot more complicated, involves two characters, you know? Um, so that's the thing, I try to, uh, 
try to put in the mind of the students or of the junior animator, um, you know, those kind of knowledge. You always have to go very, very little and take those little steps. And I can, I can tell it can be frustrating at the beginning, um, but benefits, you know, it's, it's there. Because if you learn the technique and how to do it on a simple shot, then you will learn your workflow, a proper workflow. And you will go a lot faster when you do the next shot, when you do something more complicated, more advanced, the parkour or whatever you want to do, right? But starting with an exercise only with the lower body, the hip and the legs, he allows you to, to focus only on those small things and develop a good uh, workflow. Okay, guys? So now I want to show you, you know, this shot done by the students of mine. Okay, it's really, really good, really well polished, even if it's very simple. I hope you can get inspired by this, even in this simplicity, okay? See you next time, guys. Ciao. So this is the four stages of uh, his progress, okay? The classic blocking, blocking plus, spline and polish. If you are familiar with my channel, you know uh, my approach, okay? We're going to start with the blocking. And even though if he did a really good job on this one, uh, there are a few notes that I wanted to, to, to share with you that he could have improved in this past. Um, first of all, is the major gap between these two poses. Okay, there is a, a major one, and you don't really feel at the moment the, the down arc, you know, as an anticipation to to start the walk, which is kind of in, uh, important. Here, as you can see, for example, after the big gap, now the spacing tends to be very slow. So there was a problem in the spacing here, and even the rotation, the rotation is very stiff and then kind of locking space, the rotation of the upper body. Uh, there is, for example, here, see, it's not moving much forward during the down position. The body should be more forward here and bend the, the knee a little bit more, okay? Uh, so, you see, it feels a little bit unbalanced in the part over there. And But overall, it's a, it's a nice blocking as a start. And the other thing is, it's, it was kind of obvious, it was towards the end that it goes really way too much back before uh settling in at the at the very end here it's like it's very unbalanced here and then here this pose needs a little bit more of a push uh you know but once i give him this feedback he moves to the uh to the blocking plus where he has actually more um you know more in between as you can see and it already start to be a little bit more solid uh even though the very end it still looks kind of uh, floaty okay because that's one of the things i i help him to you know a lot uh, to make sure that this part here it doesn't move constantly way too much because it, you start to feel like the uh, the body has no weight, okay? But some of the other things, you know, especially here, the acceleration was definitely better and the characters start to feel a bit more and more imbalanced. Obviously, there is still some popping in, but at this stage, we do not really care. And, uh, and the final post start to already look a little bit more stronger. Um, so you see, like, uh, I really push him into, into those things uh, you know, to make sure it does a really, really solid blocking plus, as you guys are familiar. And usually once he, he goes into the details and he goes just to spline, the spline already tends to be a lot more solid, okay, if you have a really good uh, blocking plus. There is still something to fix towards the end, okay, and, um, you know, it's like it's moving way too much. But as you can see, if you, if I, let me zoom in a bit closer, there is a lot of good movement in the hip. Okay, when the body is shifting weight from one leg to another, maybe it's a little bit too exaggerated. Uh, there is a lot of problems still in the poppy knee. And, uh, uh, but you know, overall it's solid. It, overall it's already quite solid. And uh, especially the acceleration at the beginning here, it, it did a really quite a good job already uh, improving the acceleration. St so started to go from, from, uh, from slow, okay, to accelerate even more until it gains speed and then and then slow down again okay so already this one was already quite good and even though again i have to teach him and show him how to not to push this post here a little bit too much and here when he go back kind of reduce it and make sure it doesn't doesn't stop abruptly uh here and once i give him all this pose now all this not sorry guys it does like a, a final polish okay and that's actually what i want you to 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 show you okay i'm gonna i'm gonna look here and go zoom in a little bit more guys but as you can see now all the weight is there the acceleration is done properly there is not a single pop in knee in, the, in this animation you know it's been handled perfectly okay the hip movement is there it's not too exaggerated it's not too subtle the you know the the part when it's settled at the very end here is really well done uh it's not too big but at the same time you can feel the movement 
Okay, it didn't, it didn't exaggerate. It, it, it lose that unbalanced pose that you have at, at the at the very beginning, guys, and and so on. And you see, guys, that's what I'm trying to to tell you guys, and what I would like every student kind of to achieve. You know, doing an exercise. I get it. It's simple. It's a simple exercise. But I want to repeat one more time, guys. If you cannot achieve this level of polish in something that is so simple, okay, you're never gonna be able to do it. Uh, on something that is uh, that is big and more complicated, okay? And this exercise, obviously, focus only on the hip and the legs. It didn't focus on the spine. And in this way, he could really learn a lot and, uh, you know, improve his workflow. And I'm telling you guys, now he's doing with me another exercise that is definitely more advanced. And he's going a lot more faster. And anytime he show me his blocking, his blocking plus, I always have less and less feedback to to give him because he's learning, you know, he could apply those principles on a, on a on a simple rig like this, okay, without worrying too much about the the spine, the head, and the arms. And now that he learned those techniques, he's applying it on something more complicated, okay, guys. So my recommendation, you know, for you guys, if you're still watching this video, is once you're doing like a, a parkour shot, uh, you know, like a jump, a combat sequence, ask yourself, do you have in your reel? An animation that is very simple but yes this level of polish because if the answer is not reality is probably you guys have to go back and study again the body mechanics and study the principle of the animation okay guys i know it can sound a bit harsh but animation is very competitive and you you should be able to you know to achieve something really polished if you want a chance to you know ever work in this industry okay guys so i hope you could learn something from it i'm really proud of what my student did so I hope some of you guys can uh, can achieve this kind of a polish. Okay, guys. See you next time. Ciao.